Hi, Gabby Condi here from a cup of zen.com. I'm here to show you how the templates work inside the Halloween coloring books and activity books kit. They're already pre-formatted in 8.5 by 11 in PowerPoint and I've already set up the grids and guidelines here at 0.25. You can move these to whatever range you need. If you need extra space here, you can move them and um, have them, you know, formatted to fit your KDP books or Etsy books, whatever it is that you're creating. Um, you can also delete these if you don't want to see them at all. You just go to view and click on guides and they'll be gone. And you can click on ruler and that'll be gone too. So I just wanted to show you how to use these with the Halloween monsters pack, um, the line art. And it's pretty simple. Um, you can do it one of two ways. You can go to insert pictures and then find the pictures on your on your hard drive and insert them that way or you can click and drag and insert them that way so you can really um, create a lot of different things with this I actually made little monster heads like this one with Frankenstein and in the upsell of this product where I created done for you activity books I created this page to look like this let me show you so I'm going to delete this and then let me move this over here I put him right in the middle of the page and then I moved the text box down here and then I I think I had this a little bit larger I'm going to send him to the back so I can access this and then I made this a little bit larger. Let's see, probably about that size, 48. And then I'll move these lines down here and I'll delete these two. Oops, right click, cut, there. So now I just have one line with this big Frankenstein head and this book belongs to. Get to same or different. So what I would do is move a couple of these monsters over here. Let's say we'll use the cat. And we'll use Frankenstein's head here. And then let's use bat. There's the bat. Okay, so now we have three things, but we need one more in order to make it the same. So let's reduce the size of this and move these over a little bit. So you just copy and paste it. Now they have where these two are different, but these two are the same. So what they would do would be to circle each of the cat right here, each of the cat images. They would circle both of those and that would also be on your answer key. So you can add more graphics in these other rows here. And then that would give you a full page of same or different for the Halloween pack and then or any pack that you want to do so there's also tic-tac-toe there's draw it and this is really easy to work with I actually made these for you in the upsell so this gives them a guideline to go by and then they would draw it over here and the same for this one and then here what you can do is you can actually drag over one of the items here and then you can crop it you, you just right click crop and drag it to the middle and then click it there you go if you want to adjust the transparency of it like this would drag a new one in here and adjust it to about the same size and then crop it 
there. So now you have half of the picture and then the other half where you just have to, you know, they would trace it or they would trace along the lines to finish the picture. That could be really fun in a kids activity book to do. So there's a lot of other templates here that you can use to create your activity books and it's pretty easy to work with. You just have to add in your images from the Halloween pack or from any of the packs, the bonuses that a lot of my peers are giving away as part of um, the pack if you buy through their link. They're giving away a lot of different things so maybe you'll have something from their packs to add in here and really expand on this and make it your own in your own coloring book or activity book. So I hope that this has helped you to see how to use the product and how to use the templates. And if you have any questions, you can email me at support at a cup of zen .com. And I look forward to seeing what you create.